Right. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump came away from Super Tuesday with hundreds more delegates, both edge closer to clinching their party's nomination. Atlanta News First, Rick Fulbaum is here with us this morning. And Rick, that breaking news coming in just a little while ago about Nikki Haley, right? That's right. Nikki Haley is dropping out of the race. That's according to sources close to her campaign, telling both CNN and The Wall Street Journal that Haley will announce later this morning that she is suspending her campaign after failing to earn enough delegates in yesterday's Super Tuesday contest to really pose a real threat to former President Donald Trump on the Republican side. Haley was the only option for Republican voters disenchanted with the former president, hoping to bring the party back towards the brand of Republicanism that existed in the days before Mr. Trump. But clearly, those voters are in the minority in the party as he racked up win after win after win yesterday, just as President Biden did on the Democratic side. President Biden releasing a statement saying, quote, millions of voters across the country made their voices heard, showing that they are, quote, ready to fight back against Donald Trump's extreme plan to take us backwards, end quote. Mr. Trump, not surprisingly, with a different takeaway after Super Tuesday. Our poll numbers are so much higher than Joe Biden's. He's the worst president in the history of our country. There's never been anything like what's happening to our country. But again, the major story just breaking. Nikki Haley is dropping out of the race. The question now is, will she endorse Mr. Trump? Will her supporters vote for Mr. Trump? Haley is slated to speak at 10 o'clock this morning. Both President Biden and Mr. Trump, meantime, will be here in Georgia this weekend, campaigning ahead of Tuesday's Georgia primary.